how to fine tune your decision tree by tweaking the decision tree param hyperparameters. So the first hyperparameter we're going to talk about is the minimum sample split. So the minimum sample split represents the minimum number of samples required to split an internal node. So this can vary be between considering at least one sample at each node to considering all the samples at each node. So when we increase the, this parameter, the tree becomes more constrained as it is to consider more samples at each node. So I'm going to illustrate how the mean samples split hyperparameter weights. So let's say we have our decision tree. And then we, we split this decision tree. Sorry. Let's say we split this decision tree. Something like this. Then let it do something like this. Something like this. So let's say here we have 100 observations, and then let's say you have 60 observations, and then here we have 40 observations, and then let's say here we have 20 observations, and then let's say like here, let's say like here we have like 10 observations, and then let's say, let's just assume that here we have 5 observations, and then let's say here we have one observation and then we have two observations so what the minimum sample split does is that it determines how further can we split our our decision tree so the minimum number of the minimum number of samples that we can only split is two so we cannot split one sample so this is wrong so the minimum the minimum the minimum number for the for the mean for the mean sample split Is equal to two, so we cannot exceed. We cannot go below at this number. If you try it with the psychic land library, it will give you an error. So always keep this in mind. So, so the next type of parameter I will, I will talk about is the max step. So, the max step indicates how deep our tree can be. So, the more the shallow our tree is. That means that our tree cannot capture more information. But the deeper our tree is, the more the more our tree captures more information. But this can also lead to overfitting, as our model can get complicated. So that's why we can we can apply pruning to reduce the size of our, our of our decision tree. So here yeah, I've created the the mean the mean accuracy error to evaluate to evaluate different values of our max step. So here, yeah, our function takes in the max step, and then takes in our training example, and then takes in our test example, and then the y value for the training for the training set, and then the y value for the test set. And then we can then create our module, which is our decision tree regressor. Then specify the max step equal to the max step. And then random state we set it is equal to one and then we then fit our train and test set and then we make our predictions and then we then we then we then use the mean absolute error to evaluate the mean absolute error and then we then create an array with different values of the max step so we have 5 10 20 30 and then 60 so our trick can have up to 5 5 leaf node 10 20, 30, up to 60. And then we we then loop, we then loop through our values in our array. And then we then display different mean absolute errors for different values of the max depth. So as you can see here, the best value for our max depth is 10. As you can see, it has the lowest minimum. It has the lowest mean absolute error. And then we go on to the mean sample split. So as I've as I have illustrated the mean sample split. So the mean sample split represents the minimum number of samples required to split an internal node. So here I've done the same. Instead of taking our max step, I, our, our 
our method will be taking the mean sample split our training set our x value for the train set and then our x value for the test set our y value for the train set and then our y value for the test set and then we then create our model our decision to regress our model and then we then specify the mean sample split and then the next thing is then we then create an array with different values of our mean sample split as i have as I have specified the minimum number of the mean sample split, you can only split up to two observations. We cannot go, we cannot go below that. So it, keep that in mind, two observations. So the idea behind optimizing your decision tree is you need to try different values of the max gap and then different values of the mean, mean sample split. There is no certain value. So it's an experimental process. Try different values until you get values which, which, until you get values where your model is a better accuracy. So as you can see here, the best, oh, sorry, this should be mean sample split. So the best value for our mean sample split is that, as you can see, is the value with the lowest mean absolute error. And then our next hyperparameter is the is the mean samples leaf. So the mean samples leaf is the minimum number of samples required to be at a leaf node. This parameter is some, somehow similar to the mean samples leaf. However, it describes the minimum number of samples of samples at the leaf and at the base of the tree. So at the terminal node, this describes the minimum number of this describes the minimum number of of samples at the, at the base of the tree. So this is the base of the tree. So the mean samples leaf determines the minimum number of of samples at the base of the tree. So this is the base of the tree. So and then the mean samples samples leaf. So it determines the minimum number of samples at the base of the tree. Yeah, the base of the tree. So in this, and then in this mean absolute error method, I've changed our method to take the mean samples leaf. And then we then look through different values of the mean samples leaf. And then you can see that um, a mean samples. Sorry, this should be mean samples leaf. As you can see, that that ten is our best value, as it is the lowest mean, as it is the lowest mean absolute error. And then we can then combine this hyperparameter hyperparameters. So in this I have imported the decision tree decision tree regressor from the scikit learn library. And then I have specified the criterion to be the mean the mean sem the mean the mean square error and then the splitter to be best. So the splitter best splitter this means that our model will be only considering the best will try by all means to split our data the best best way possible. And then I have specified the mean samples, the means the mean the mean samples leaf to be three, and then I have specified the max depth to be fifty, and then I have specified the mean samples leaf to be to be seven, and then we get an accuracy of sixty one percent as compared to our previous as compared to our previous accuracy in the previous video we got an accuracy of fifty two of fifty two percent. So that's a slight improvement. So the other thing is when you are searching for for the best hyperparameters, we can use the random search from the scikit-learn library. So to use the random search, we first create a, a dictionary with the different hyperparameters. So you specify the the max depth, and then we generate random numbers from one up to hundred. So we generate random numbers from one up to hundred. So our decision 
trigger and vary from one up to 100. And then we then specify the means sample split from two up to 40. As I specify that the minimum number of the minimum number of the mean sample split is two, as we cannot split one example. So this range is from two up to 40. And then we specify the mean samples leaf. And then we specify the num and then this number should range from one up to 50. And then we then instantiate our our decision tree, our decision tree. And then we then pass in our decision tree into the ran random search. And then we pass in our parameter dictionary. And then we, we, paste, we specify CG to be to be five. And then we then fit our training example, the X value for our training example and the Y value for our training. And then what random search will do is it will look for the best parameters for, for, for the best parameters in the dictionary, in this dictionary that we have specified above. So here the max depth will be here the best, our best, here our tuned three parameters and our best hyperparameters will be a max depth of 52, a minimum sample leaf of 10, a minimum sample split of six, and the best score, and you can see that our best score is 69, our is 69% accuracy, which has improved from our previous score, which was 61%. So thank you for watching, guys. So in the next video, I'll try to, to talk about the entropy. I'll to try to talk about the entropy, and then how you can also use the entropy to, to improve your decision to reclassify, as in the, in the previous two in the previous two videos, we have been talking about the decision tree regressor. In the next video, we'll be talking about the decision tree classifier. Thanks for watching.